Some of us really struggle with the idea of taking time out. And cinematographer and photographer Jitain Ramlal is constantly coming up with new ideas for creative projects. His passion seems to be inexhaustible and I was curious to find out how he can be so productive without seeing it as work. There's a lot of teamwork involved in making a striking image or an engaging movie. But it's essential that everyone involved is guided by the creative vision of the artist behind the camera. Spending most of my time on sets, I know that you have to be a little bit obsessed to love this industry. I recently met Jitain Ramlal and his professionalism and cool attitude on set made me want to get the full story behind this relaxed DOP. Jitain graduated from the Durban Institute of Technology in the field of graphic arts and he's made a name for himself as a photographer, cinematographer and animator. It isn't only his inventive eye that sets him apart, but also his technical mastery of the equipment, process and systems, as well as his ability to communicate his ideas. Hello, hello. Hey, Zach. How are you doing? Good, good. Good to see you again. Me too. Mwah. Mwah. Can we go make up, please? Thank you. Jithen, where did you grow up and how has this influenced your creative thinking? I grew up in a very tiny community in Durban, in Ottawa. The kids were always left alone because the parents were always hard at work. I was always influenced by the movies that I would watch, 80s action, ninja films. I used to love all of that, cartoons, you name it. So I was always influenced by drawing because I always watch the cartoons and ninja people because I would watch them like fighting on TV. So I used to love all of that good stuff. How did your family react to you wanting to pursue a career in the arts? I think the community in general weren't really receptive of it. Being able to go to art school, that was seen as something like, you know you're gonna be poor or broke because there's not a lot of people doing it. So because of the knowledge and not knowing where this industry could take you, I was given a lot of flack for it. Jitain, how did you break into the industry? I worked my butt off. I was broke a lot of the time, but I pulled through. I was sleeping on my cousin's floor when I got to Johannesburg. I was trying to make ends meet. The first paycheck I did was for the month, I think about 500 bucks. So I struggled, I really did. But I think the more people I got in front of to show them that, you know what, I do have the skill, I can do it, the more open they were to hiring me. And then I just built from that. I've just got to finish this photo shoot quick. I will chat to you in a bit. Thank you, Nani. Ready, let's get it. Okay, I love that. That's it, there we go. I like what you did with the eyes, Nani. Eyes away, amazing. Yeah, these are awesome. Can I take a look? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh my goodness, wow. These are magnificent. Jithin, what exactly does a DOP do? We communicate via picture. So lighting, camera angle, lensing choice, all of that makes a difference too. How do you tell stories? When I'm shooting commercials, we have bigger kits, like longer lenses, more flatter look and feel. When I'm shooting music videos, we go for wide angles, vibrant colors, lots of camera movement. When I shoot series and dramas, it's a bit more low key, low key lighting, very serious tones, lots of smoke. So it just depends on what the director wants to do and the type of mood he wants to achieve. For anyone out there who doesn't know, what is low-key lighting? Let me show you. Sure. For this demonstration, would you be my actress, Zach? I would be on it. So I'm going to need you to stand right here. Okay. Mpo, can I have your assistance, please? I need you to light her from the top. And I'm going to do this demonstration with one light just to demonstrate how differently you can perceive the situation. OK. Cool. Great. So I'm going to feed you a line. The line is, I love you. And then I'm going to show you based on lighting and lensing how we're going to change the situation completely. And go for it. I love you. And cut. That was great. That was the high key lighting. I'm going to show you something completely different. I'm just going to switch a lens and uh, we'll take it from. And pause. So for this one, full power in the lighting. Give me a dramatic bottom light. Giving me some shadows on the face. And action. I love you. And cut. That was perfect. Well done. Okay, so this is what we got. So the first look, Bollywood. Mm -hmm. It's very brightly lit. The camera movement, there's not a lot of it. It's very comfortable for the viewer. And you're delivering a line, the way you deliver it with this lighting says, yeah, I can connect with this person. The second one is a bit more dramatic. Hard shadows, it's bottom lit. So it's giving you an eerie feel like immediately straight off the bat. It makes the viewer very uncomfortable. Just with changing one light, you can completely change the dynamic of a shot. It's amazing how you can manipulate emotions as simply as that. It's crazy, right? Jitain, 
what do you find exciting about being a South African creative right now? Right now, it's the Wild West. I mean, opportunities are endless. There's no barriers when it comes to race or culture anymore. It's a lot of fun to be in the industry right now. What have been some of your favorite projects to date? So I shot my first feature. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it's called Love Lives Here, and I got to shoot it down in Durban, my hometown. So that was very exciting. What is it about filmmaking that you find fascinating? Being able to make up or communicate emotions or bring out emotions in someone with just the use of camera work and script. You've been standing all day. Let's sit down and chat more. Sure. Jathen, what is the motto that you live by? I would have to say live in excellence. Everything that I do has to be to the best of my ability. Otherwise, why do it at all? What message do you have for the creative souls out there? For the people who are coming up in this industry, just be aware it's not easy. But if you're serious about it, if you really love this industry and if you breathe this industry, there's always help. So just ask. I will be there to help you if you want to reach out to me or reach out to anyone I'm associated with. I will help you with that journey personally because it is worth it. At the end of the day, you have something to give back to the community and work that you do in this industry lasts forever. I absolutely love that advice. Thank you so much for the wonderful day and for showing me your world. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Feeding one's creative soul and making a living are not always the same journey. Jathen's adventure is right on course and I'm very excited to see how this movie unfolds.